Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 5 of my of the 20 7 days to die. Let's play. And we're back here ready to go into this mission and see what it's got for us. <laughs> Hopefully it's got some good stuff. Let's go um check the mailbox. <laughs> Ooh, a puffer coat. Nice. Take it. Oh, look at that attire. I love it. That's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Oof. Okay. <laughs> I know that bird was gonna come get me. I don't know why I'm getting the feathers. Honestly, don't. It's just habit, I guess. Uh. <gasps> Ooh, a medicine cabinet. Ah, oh, yeah, I got some vitamins. Got some port lights and another birthday bandage. I like getting to where I have extras. That's always good. Um, I don't know. I think the gothic pants are probably the better. Because that's got 12. Uh, no, 10. Yeah, 12.2. That's got like 15, 16.2 degrees, so I think I'm gonna grab that one. Hmm. So dark in here. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Get out of there! Gotcha! Oh look! Oh, I can see the thing over there. And I know that I have uh, done this several times where I went off and left the <laughs> the thing. <laughs> so I just thought I was done. I got my treasure and I left. And uh, and then I get out of range and it's like, you failed the mission. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> say that Seven Days to Die has been my favorite, uh, do I have a shirt? No. Okay. It's been my favorite survival game, uh, for a while. I don't know that you need grills for anything else. Uh, it just, I don't know. It's, it's got everything that I want in a survival game, and it's so hard to actually play other survival games. Uh, 
because this is what I measured them against. <laughs> and it's like, well, I don't know why I'm playing this, because I could be playing Seven Days to Die. So, yeah. Uh, but there is one uh, thing. Oh! Ah! <clears throat> what? It sounds like it's like right there. Where, where do you go? I don't know. Let's get our flashlight. And we have to press one really fast. Huh. Let's just open one at a time. Oh, this is a good one. It's the smallest. Um, I gotta make sure I get that. Is it in this room? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's make sure we get... There we go. Oh, they got bookcases in here. Oh. Nice. Okay. Anybody in here? Whoops. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> They're all gonna blow up! <laughs> um, yeah, can you blow all three of those up, please? No, they didn't get them all. <laughs> It's so scary. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's got that red light. We can upgrade that. Oh, we got another aid kit. Definitely we'll take that. Oh, look at that antibiotic. Oh, game's being so good to me. Oh, some tent junk magazines. Too bad I'm not inspecting. Increase robotic weapons by 10%. Great. It is stun repulsive. Good too. Alright. What else is over here? I cannot forget <laughs> that those landmines are over there. Otherwise, I could step on one and trigger it. It was almost there. Oh! Oh! Let me out. Oh, 
is scary. I thought I'd killed everything. Oh, look at that. Popping pills, great. Watch, it's gonna. It's gonna be a beaker in there. Just because I just bought one. What a relief. <laughs> okay. Now we can see Daddle. Oh! It was so slow. Oh, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna get the things. Um, do I have... on the next to the water. So I'm gonna grab what we can. Oh my goodness. I need to spend those points. I keep forgetting. Oh, where's this? Oh, yes. Another page. Oh, there's another bird's nest. Definitely want to get back and get another mission as quickly as possible to make sure I don't miss one. I miss the opportunity to get one. Because uh, I'm gonna be behind in the whole base building department. Because I'm gonna move. No, this town's okay. It's just, um, it's just not one of the big towns. Um, and I want to get near one of the big towns um, to get, uh, I don't know, a greater variety of uh, the POIs. Because there'll be more of them. get a uh, surplus of food going if I would see more than like one rabbit or one chicken I could possibly get some more to do a lot more once we get the bicycle uh, because we won't be running as much. Oh dude I ran right by the water and I didn't get the bummer. Thank you survivor. My family and your Oh I don't know should I take the bipod mod, which increases accuracy and handling when aiming weapons? Or should I get the bipod mod, which increases accuracy and handling when aiming weapons? <laughs> um, I think, I think I'm going to take the bipod mod. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the bipod instead. <laughs> um, so we got two fetches and two buried supplies. I'm not going to do the buried supplies. It's not a valid option for me anymore. It's more work than it's worth. So I would definitely, I know the nail gun schematic is nice, but I think the steel tools might be better. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I can sell these cowboy boots. Thanks, anyways. You be careful out there. Do that. And I can put that in. I thank you, kind uh, sir. Can I put that in the machine gun? You can. That's sweet. All right, let's go throw this stuff away. Not throw it away, but throw it into the desk, you know what I mean. All right. Oh, dude, it's day three already. Almost the end of day three. start to feel the pressure uh, maybe I should just start building a base even if it's just a box uh, in case I can't uh, get to the second town in time I don't know Oh, definitely that. Look at all those supplies we got. That is cool. Definitely want to get that food going. get dysentery. I think it takes two tea to actually make it. Take that. Get some oil and water. Then Here goes nothing. Oh my mama mama mama. Oh, I didn't get dysentery. So maybe I can eat one of these. And save the other one. Oh. Now we got a couple of extra Pokemon teas in the bank. Oh, four seconds. Go. Yeah. All right, we got our inventory cleaned up. Um, maybe we'll go ahead. Maybe we'll just go ahead and eat this. Not gonna hurt anything. And we'll go ahead and drink a couple more red peas. 
There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and run over there. Get ready for the next mission. Um, maybe if there's, uh, something cool nearby, we can dip into that a little bit. Because it's quite early, but we just don't have enough time to you know, do, oh, a car. We don't have enough time to do, like, a whole whole thing. Maybe a part of a thing. Oh. That means. <laughs> what does this look like? <laughs> It's raining zombies. A zombie. Hey, look, it's got uh, oil. Hold on. Got it. Oh. Yes. nest over there, I think. <laughs> oh, there's a bird's nest over there, too. I still wonder if any of that stuff is, uh, Reachable, you know, like if it'll give steel or something, like uh, these connectors. <coughs> Some electrical points, that's not bad. It's not doing the thing. I'm only getting metal. I think this is rentable. Huh, okay. That's no good. 
Uh, these probably are electrical parts too. Yeah. those and get those uh, little relays. That would be kind of cool. But I can't, so well. Um, oh yeah, we can totally check the mail on this. Uh, wrench this car. this room because it's very bright. It's starting to get dark now and I can tell this room, of course it's got that big light right there. Really nice. Let's see if we can get an engine. Yeah. Oh, meow chow and a pistol and a whole chicken. over here. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode a little bit early uh, so that we can start the next one. Maybe we'll get to do two missions in one. <laughs> a little one, one a little bit short, one a little bit longer. So yeah. We'll go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.